Hello, cameras. Action. Welcome. Who said that? I'm a cheer. I'm. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. I very much love your dress. Thank you very much. What's up? Congratulations. Um, you know. How's thanks. it feel? Great. First time. You Pretty know. Awesome. First cut is the deepest, as um, Cheryl Crow said, you know. So um, we got some questions going. I'm ready. I'm very excited. You know, this is, um, as a kid, you grew up watching these things, yeah? Yeah, it's really exciting. You know? And then you're there. And there's cameras and there's people. And there's people I want to talk to. Yeah, there's I all kinds so, of people eh? I want to talk to. Let's what get do they started. Want to talk about? Um, uh, can I have a mic over here for serious? Oh, that's please? what you're doing. I love this. You're like, uh, that's, yeah. You're doing this. I'm the moderator. That's cool. That's a cool job. How do you get that? Well, that's a that's a long story. Okay, we'll talk later. <laughs> this is about you. I always do. I always interview the interviewers. So I love that. Get ready, all of you. All right. Okay. Great. Who's up? Hey, Sarah here from Sirius XM. We Hi. play your music on Canadian Indigenous People's Radio, Channel 165, and congratulations on your nominations and your awards. Uh, what's, what's it feel like over the last year to, to not just win a Juno, but also Polaris? You know, the spotlight's been on you all year. Yeah. It has been. How does it feel? Hasn't it? Um, you know, I feel I'm going to start that again. Take two. I feel a immense, take three. I feel an immense sense of responsibility to do this work. Um, and to have a spotlight and a platform uh, to share truths and to talk about the difficult dream we have in this country of actually working together. Um, I hope to make that a reality, but I think we need to be on the same page first. And so there's some things that we need to sort out. So I, hope to step into that role as a truth teller um, to um, share music because I feel like actually it's in beauty that we move forward, you know? We can sit and we can, we can, we can uh, hold signs and, and shake fingers and, and this is important. It's important to take space. But when we change hearts, it comes in beauty. And so for me, uh, I take the responsibility of being a conveyor of beauty very seriously. And I'll just quickly follow that up with uh, what you would say to other artists in the indigenous music space that are, you know, trying to break through the way that you have in the last year. You're all beautiful. What you do is magic. What you do is magic, truly. And I think what's kind of funny about this award that I just won and kind of beautiful at the same time is that the diversity, sonic diversity, of the uh, nominees in this category? <coughs> are you kidding me? You know, it's amazing the kinds of music that our community puts out, communities. We must acknowledge that every single one of those nominees comes from a different tradition, has a different language. And so all of our artistic practice is coming through that, through the land and through the language which we come from. So, um, what I say to them is create with confidence at the intersections that you inhabit. Because those intersections, this is what this country needs to hear right now. That's what I would say. Thank you. That was beautiful. Um, David, uh, front row, please, Fanny. Thank you. Hi, David. Hi, Jeremy. How's How are going? you? Good, you? It's nice to see you. I saw you tweeting the other day. I do it a lot. Yeah, you're here. So I have I have a question for What's you. Um, this award, congratulations, could have been given out on the broadcast tomorrow night. Really? Could it have? You're, <laughs> you're performing tomorrow night. Yeah, true. I was wondering what your thoughts are on the fact that it isn't being given out then. Obviously, you've previously spoken about the fact that the Indigenous performers are specifically within one category and still haven't broken out. What, what do you think about the bigger picture there? What I said on that stage was that our music is not niche and our music is viable. And so, thank you, crowd of one, represent. Um, <laughs> what I will say is that um, our music does deserve to be on these stages and seen because it hasn't been seen for a very long time, you know? Up until 1951, we weren't even able to gather and share our music. It was illegal under the Indian Act. 
And so just in a little over 50 years, where are we now? You know, representation is very important. And this category is very important. You know, I have to shout out people like Elaine Bomberry, Shingus, Buffy St. Marie, who advocated for this category in the mid-90s. And if they hadn't, how many indigenous nominees would there be at the Junos? You know? Um, we do a lot of this back padding for our diversity points, you know? Um, but who are we giving the space to? Who's taking up the airwaves? Can you talk about the sound too? Because I mean, you have a, you have a certain style of music and then snotty nose, for example, are in the <laughs> same category. And so when I look at it, I kind of wonder right. how that's all. Have there, uh, were there many other categories like this tonight? I will ask you. Where the nominees were so far, acoustically speaking, from each other. You know? Why is that? You know? Representation is important, but we are not to be siloed. And I hope this is the last year that this happens. Oh, guys, I'm a real downer. I'm sorry. <laughs> can we ask a fun question? Yeah, God, we, I just want to celebrate. Let's ask a fun question. Oh, I don't um, do that. Tony. <laughs> I was like, you, you, you know, that's your job. Hi. <laughs> Tony's going to ask you. Hi, um, Tony. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. How congrats, are you? Congrats. Congrats. I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I'll, 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 Re, uh, readdress my question. It, it was going to be deep, but now uh, let's drop a fun question. Um, musically, um, where are you going to take? I mean, you, you continue to to just expand. Um, so where do, where do you think you want to take your music next? There's only two options in life: expansion or contraction. I want to expand. So, um, what's been really, really beautiful about this project, Wulustoeglintuaganawa, is I get to go and I get to let this music live in different spaces. So for example, like there was last year, in one week, I did a show at the National Arts Center with the National Arts Center Orchestra. You know, a big to-do, a big affair, red carpets and all this. Um, and then the next, that, that same week, I went to Winnipeg, to the North End, to the divested neighborhoods that, that are in that community, and sat and did a show for those communities too. This music lives in different spaces, and I hope to expand that. So. What we're doing right now, and what I would love to announce to you guys, uh, there's starting to trickle out the announcements, but uh, we uh, are announcing a big orchestral tour for the end of this year and the start of next year. When I heard those archival voices, those old scratchy recordings, you hear a melody, but for me, I hear symphonies. And so for me, this symphonic tour and getting to go around and to share this with communities all across Turtle Island, um, is to put our musics on the same playing field as Western classical music. This has not really happened ever. It's always been top down. Oh, we'll take a melody here or put a drum on you know, a symphonic piece, a marriage, looking at each other. You know, our music is big, there's a lot to it. You know? So I wanna let all those colors live. Um, again, with serious, jeez. <laughs> um, and I really like to do a show. <laughs> uh, no, so we're touring. Um, what sonically, where I wanted to go, um, I, I wanted to expand. And so for me, that you know, I come from a classical music tradition. I studied as an opera singer. Um, big orchestras and big sounds are not something I'm scared of. So I hope to bring that to you very soon. Thank Amazing. You. Blessings. Yeah. Congratulations again. Thank you very much for being here tonight. <laughs>